let's talk, as you said, more about the police officers in this. David, I read that you met the actual officer who investigated the Sherwood murders. How did exploring the miners' strike from a police officer's perspective inform your preparation to play Ian Sinclair? Yes, I did. I met the officer who was in charge of this investigation. I met lots of police officers, actually. I met police officers who were still serving police officers and officers who have now left the force. Uh, and that was quite interesting, the uh, the difference between their memories of what went on. Um, but also I met a lot of man miners. I, I met a lot of miners who had been there during the during the strike and their opinion of the police. And there seemed to me to be, you know, an understanding of all sides about how difficult it was. What happened was, and I think James alluded to it, was that there was policemen from the community, people like Ian, who he would know the people on the other side of that picket line. He would have grown up with them. He knew them from school. He knew them from the streets he grew up in. So there was a Although it wasn't peaceful, you know, there would be skirmishes, but they knew each other and it wasn't um, unheard of that they would stand on the picket line in the day, but then go to the pub with the same people in the evening. The difference was that it became such a difficult thing to police and a manpower problem that police forces were drafted in from other parts of the UK, uh, particularly from London and the Metropolitan Police who had no uh, no relationship with the people on the other side. And there was also, they were also given a remit by the government at the time to, to go in, to, to you know, go in there heavy handed. And so that's where a lot of the lasting scars, lasting schisms came from, was the brutality that happened when other police forces came into that region. And Ian, in our present day story, is told that officers are going to have to come into that region again. And that's where his panic and his real concern starts to, to grow when he knows that other police forces are going to have to come into this region and police it. And he finds that really dangerous given, given the history of what happened during those times.